Historians tell us handball began in ancient Egypt and is probably the oldest ball sport in the world. Irish immigrants brought the game to San Francisco in the late 1800s. And tonight, just a short drive south from that beautiful city, the four best handball players in the world, Nadia Alvarado and David Chapman. Take on Tati Silvera and John Bight to find out who's the best. The World Pro Handball Doubles Championship. Hello again, everyone, from the Royal Athletic Club in Burlingame, California. I'm Ben Thumb, and welcome to another night of exciting handball. Tonight, I'm honored to have two of the finest handball players of all time with me. On my right, the former six-time national singles champion and member of the United States Handball Association Hall of Fame, Mr. Fred Lewis. And on my left, the former world singles and doubles national champion and the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Stuffy Singer. Stuffy, tell us about the two youngest players tonight, uh, David Chapman and Nadi Alvarado. Well, I would guess that Nadi and David probably are going to be looked upon as the underdog in this match because they lost in the finals of the national tournament this year to this exact team that they're playing tonight. It, in order for them to win, they're going to have to control the pace of this game because the guys they're playing are very powerful. They've got to eliminate their sloppy choices. They've got to prolong the volleys. They've got to keep Alvarado in the game. Alvarado, on the other hand, has got to drive the other team back and help David. Otherwise, they've got a lot of trouble. Now, Fred, what about the other two guys? Who are they going to face here? Well, they're playing John Bike and Tati Silvera, probably the two most awesome physical talents in the game today. These guys hit the ball over 90 miles an hour. They serve uh, tremendously, and uh, I think what they're going to have to do in order to win is to basically uh, minimize their errors because they do have a tendency to uh, take chances. They're going to have to choose their shots wisely and show some patience. They're going to have to end the rallies when the opportunities present themselves. And then finally, they're going to have to get to Alvarado because Chapman is just too steady. Thank you, Fred. Stuffy. We've got some exciting handball coming up for you in just a moment. Stay tuned. Pro Handball Doubles Championships. Earlier, Fred Lewis had a chance to take us through the basics of handball. Let's have a look at that now. The rules of this game are very simple. Basically, the ball is put in play by the server. The server stands in the service box, attempts to hit the ball to the front wall. The ball must pass the second red line, bounce in this area before it reaches the back wall. The receiver stands in the rear of the court, attempts to hit the ball back to the front wall. Now, if the ball bounces twice before the receiver makes the return, side is out or a point is scored. Thanks, Fred. Now, the handball rules are you must win two out of three games, and the first team to 21 points wins the game. Only the serving team can score a point, and there will be a third game if necessary, and that will be an 11-point tiebreaker. All right, let's play ball and go down for the first serve. Alvarado and Chapman serve the first game. Hey. Alvarado and Chapman zero, serve. 0-0, zero, let's play ball. See how David's taking them up, trying to control the play? Oops, side Point. is out. Silvera blows an easy shot. Yeah. Nine little, times out of ten, we'll hit that. Yeah. One, zero, little, little early game jitters. Zero. Right. That's a beautiful Point. shot by David Chapman, taking the ball out of the air and hitting what we call a fly kill shot. Did you notice how low he got when he yeah, hit that? Yeah, it's beautiful. Serving zero. Chapman fires. Great shot by Bike. Even though he was uh, off balance, he had David in such a bad position that he hit it with great, great curve. 
Well, that's the physical talent. Zero serves two. What a, what a tough Base. serve. Base. Ooh. Ooh. Two serves. Great return. Yeah, David made a great defensive return. What a return, side it's out. Side out. Yeah, see that, that that that's what David does so well in this in this match is he plays such good defense, and that's their really only hope. What you're going to see here is a real tough serve down the right side, and Alvarado just pounds the ball down the left. And here David makes a great return, gets the ball up to the ceiling, drives the other team to the rear of the court, and Toddy's not able to get back there Zero. Well, well enough. Serves two. Looks like Toddy's a little cold at this point. Short. That, that's what Fred was talking about when the ball doesn't clear that second line. Right. Another great return to serve. David gets it into a volley, and that's what he's got to do. It's a setup. Great get. Boy, the last thing you want to see is his fight just leaning on the ball like that. Oh, All right, now here's Silvera makes a diving return, and then Bike just, excuse me, um, uh, David just kind of falls to the ground, barely able to see the ball, and hits a kill shot in the front right corner. Beautiful shot. They're not going to be able to count too much on that kind of shot. But it was a great, great shot. The ball is just a couple inches off the floor. Oh, oh. great stuff by Todd. Stuffy, you talked about that power, and there was an example of it right there. Yeah, the Here's Silvera just teeing off on the ball and hitting the ball probably 95 to 100 miles an hour. And the difference in this in baseball is the ball is only traveling about 15, 20 feet, and these guys have to respond in a millisecond. Great return to serve. Oh, great play. Great play. Great point. Matty Alvarado with some heads-up handball. Great return by Silvera. Yeah, there was a great return by Silvera, and Nadi Alvarado just makes a great, great shot. Great reaction forward and just ends the volley, hitting a flat kill shot in the left corner. Let's see if we can get that serve pumping. What a return, what a return. Look at that, what a shot, what a pass shot. Pass shot, straight pass shot by John Bike. But all set up by that serve. Here's Bike just leaning on the ball, and just David just can't recover, and it just rolls down the left side wall. There's just no chance when you let John stand there and hit the ball like that. Oops, side out. Side out by Savera again. Taking a little bit too much off the ball instead of cranking on it. Yep, especially right now when he's a little bit nervous, a little bit tight. Two serves one. Oh. Boy, David just hit that real high pass shot and just took these teams and, and put the ball right into the center. Stuffy, don't you think that uh, the weakness there is in the middle? Absolutely. The and, that, and, that, and that's exactly where he hit it. He had a lefty-righty combination. He hit the ball right into the center. So both of them had to hit the ball with, with their offhand, and neither one decided which one to do it. That's the interesting thing about David. When he gets in trouble, he goes up to the ceiling, he hits the ball around three walls. Boy, Bike is just crunching that ball right here. He really is. This is starting out to be one fantastic match. Oh, great pass shot. Absolutely. Spectacular pass shot.
That's a classic pass shot, isn't it, Fred? What's happening is now he took the ball off the back wall and he gave that setup. Naughty Jr. just hit a spectacular, spectacular front wall, left side wall pass, back deep, forced John to try and play it from the rear of the court while running backwards. Almost impossible. Okay, it's second serve. They get two serves. First serve, no good. Great rear court kill by Tommy Silvera from 38 feet back. The ball crouched on the right side wall. What do you think about that kind of shot, though, Fred, on the return to serve? Well, I think if uh, the server is backing up, then it's a good shot. If he holds his ground up front, then uh, he's got to make it flat. You know, and Tati's got such great physical tools that, you know, he can get away with things that other players can't get away with. Absolutely. Set up for him right now. Boy, the pace is just incredible. Boy, they're covering for each other beautifully, aren't they, Fred? Yes, I love it. Down the middle. I see forcing John to hit the ball with that weak right arm in comparison. Oh! Yeah. That, that's a hinder ball, and when these, when these guys get in each other's way, the referee calls a hinder ball and it, it goes over. It's like interference. Here, here what we've got is you see how close that ball came in there uh, to the right side wall, and, uh, and, and Toddy was unable to see the ball, and the referee rightfully made the correct call. They play it again. It's called a hinder ball. I think for the most part, the referee is staying out of the game right now, he's doing which a great is good. Job. He's letting them play. Absolutely. He's doing a great job because th th these guys are the most talented athletes around. And he can over-referee. Great retrieves up front. Look at John just rip the ball. Oh, boy. David hit a great pass shot down the left, and it caught the crotch in the, in the left rear sidewall. Stubby, you, you know, uh, many times you've said that these athletes are among the best in the world. How do you rank them against uh, some of the top pro players in baseball or football? Well, you'd have to relate the athletic ability of these guys to the defensive backs in football, because there is no advantage to size in this game. In fact, there's never been, excuse me, there's been one national singles champion that's been over six foot tall, and he's in the court right now, and it's John Bike. Everybody else has been below six foot tall. So the best handball players in the world are the best because their ability makes them the best, not because they're bigger or because they're faster. It's a combination of everything. Right. And on pure athletic ability, um, it's, been, it's been well known in the professional athletes in all sports. These guys are the ultimate athletes that there is in sport. John Bike. Uh, here we're watching David hit the ball, and John just leans on the ball, and, he, and hit, he has to hit the ball very close to 100 miles an hour and just absolutely handcuffs David. David had to react in, in milliseconds, oh, as you say. Yeah. Very, very difficult proposition. That, that, that first line is only 15 feet from the front wall. And John was standing about two feet behind it, which means he's 17 feet from the front wall. They're in trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Flat kill shot in the left-hand corner. Yeah, you, you just can't give players of this caliber that kind of shot. Here's that back wall shot now, and Silvera just leans on it, flattens out, and just rolls the ball in the left corner. That's a wonderful, wonderful shot. Three, six. Oh. Tough serve. Tough serve. Tough, Tough serve. serve. Silvera's cranking on that serve right now. Four, He's hit the ball six. low and right down the wall. Set up to wall. again. Couldn't quite get in position early enough, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And you, you know, he, yeah. you know Steffi, hit that shot backing up, which is not a high percentage shot. Backing up with his offhand. Here's another look. Now, here's the setup. Now, here it is right now. Now, he's backing up, he's leaning back, and he's hitting the ball with his offhand, his left hand. He's a natural right-hander, and he rolls the ball in the front left corner anyway. That's awesome talent. Oh. That's a little too high. 
cranks on this one. Whoops. But he gave it up. He didn't hit a good enough shot, and David took control of the volley again. Now he's back on defense, and he's forcing him to go up. Great little reverse. That, that, the, a, re a reverse is like a, like a screwball in baseball. It hits mm -hmm. the front wall, hits the floor, and jumps to the right. Yeah, that ball should not be hitting that high. See how John thought the ball was going to go to the left? Instead, the right. ball went back to the right a little bit. Right. Welcome back to the World Pro Handball Doubles Championship. We now rejoin the match with the score all tied up at 12 apiece in the first game. Yeah, John is there. That's a great shot, but David will get it. And he takes his three-wall return. And John Errett. And John Errett, because he forced it. Yep. Seemed like he rushed into that, Fred. He, he did. He, he, rushed he rushed into it, it because he got frustrated. See, now there's the three-wall shot. John hits another pass. David goes back, flips the ball around three walls. John's trying to take the ball off the left side wall. And there's been so many times now when David's hit pass shots or hit three-wall shots that when the opportunity finally presents itself for John to hit the kill shot, he gets a little bit over-anxious. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what David wants him to do. Wouldn't you agree, Fred? Absolutely. That's the strategy. Force him into errors. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Great shot by David. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful pass shot. Beautiful pass shot, but I'm a, a little disappointed with, with Toddy, who should have anticipated because, you know, John had moved forward, so Toddy's got to move back to cover that eventuality. Another error by Toddy. Again, I think he's just 15. a little bit too casual. And, not and, pumped up. And, and, he, and, he, and he gets casual on the relatively easy shots, not on the tough ones. And they're jockeying for position. Those sidewalls can be very intimidating. Great get, oh, great yes. get, great get. Yeah. A little controversy there. Yeah. I thought he got it. Front team thought it was two bounces. It looked good from up here. What'd you think, Fred? I thought he got it. I thought he wasn't sure he had the best angle himself. The referee's calling for a replay here. Well, you know, under normal circumstances, okay, under normal circumstances, we have linesmen that can assist the referee when he gets blocked out. But the configuration here with all the equipment and everything we've got makes that very difficult. Hit the crack of the door. Okay, we had a court hinder there. Ball hit the crack of the door and took a bad bounce. Play again. 15. And the referee's got to see that in order to call it. Great, great pass shot, pass shot. Great, great pass, pass shot. shot. Faked him out, right, yep. stuff? Yep, absolutely. They thought he was going to shoot the left corner, and he 16, passed down the right 12. side. I'll tell you, you know, mo most people don't, don't ever get to the level of intelligence that David has on a, on a court. We're not talking about off, off the court, but usually... Great, great get by Ignani. Oh, what a get. Oh, oh nice call by John. Nice call by John. I thought he had it. I thought he had it also. Good call by John. Let's take a look. Yeah. Call and contact. Thank you. Oh, thank you, John. Now here, here Toddy goes all the way back, drives the ball on the left side. Naughty Jr. Seven shoots five. in front of John, and from up here it looked like John got it. I still thought it. he got it. Yeah, from up here it, it certainly looked like John got it. But uh, but he 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 probably thinks he knew best, and he called two bounces on himself, and that that means the point's over. David Chapman, incidentally, is ranked number one on the Gatorade Spalding Pro Handball Tour. We should mention that he uh, is the youngest number one ranked player on the tour. He's also the, the youngest uh, national singles champion uh, two years ago and the youngest national doubles champion two years ago and three years ago. It, he's, uh, he's basically rewritten the record book. He started out as a junior, started, started winning, I think, when he was about 10 or 11 years old and just continued. Oh. How do you get, there. Stuffy, how do you get that good so young? Most people, it takes many, many years to master this game. Well, it's taken him many, many years. He just started so young. <laughs> you know, he's been playing for 10, 11 years now. 
And, uh, you know, his dad, uh, Fred, took him into the court, took him to all the tournaments, and then he just kind of grew up with this game. You know, it's not like the other guys in the court are real old. Oh. oh. Big tactical ever by Alvarado there. Absolutely. Hitting the ball with his left. He should have left it for David. Got a little bit over anxious. Got a little impatient. Good thing. Boy, Silvera got off real cheap there. He's not concentrating at this point. See, one of the things that happened, Ben, is if you serve a ball and it hits the front wall and then hits the back wall before it hits the floor, that's, they, they, they call it short. In reality, it's long. Oh! David makes a spectacular dive on a tough, tough kill shot. Great try. Silvera. He came very close to making that shot. I think we Let's got that. Let's take another now. look, yeah. David shoots. Soft kill. Oh! Just missed it. You know, there's, there's, there's probably more energy being generated in, uh, in a handball match of this caliber than in, in maybe any sport except maybe wrestling. You know, wrestling and boxing, I think for a non-contact sport, this has got to be the toughest. There, there, there's no question about it. They, they, they did a study many years ago about uh, a, a football game and during a three and a half hour uh, football game where the ball was in play actually for 14 minutes in total. They did the same study in a handball in a handball match and out of a three hour and a half, three hour and 30 minute match, the ball was in play two and a half hours. And they're entitled to three one minute timeouts a game. They're entitled to five minutes in between the first and second game, five minutes in between the third game, no substitutions. Uh, it's it's easy to lose eight ten pounds in a match, and they're doing it inside. Didn't you and I play that match? Boy, it sure fact. felt like it many times, Fred. So we've got a dry floor now, and it's 1913. Yeah, yeah Nadi took a chance there, and he made the shot. 38 feet away. Yeah, still a bad choice though. Set up. Bad choice by Toddy. What a closer. drive. What a two-wall passing shot by Alvarado. Great yeah. drive. And that's the kind of thing that he needs to do. If he does that and moves his other team back out and he becomes a threat. All right. Now here's Tati who makes it really a, got, got frozen at the wall. And Alvarado hits front wall, left side wall, drives the ball behind John. He's not able to catch up with it, not able to get the call back. That's what Nadi Alvarado Jr. needs to do in this match. Shot. All right, let's see what John's Bikey does it. here. Boom, down the line. Oh, oh see that ball straight yeah. down? That, 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 that's the natural hook, and the right. natural hook is like a curveball in baseball. It hit the front wall, hit the floor, and instead of continuing towards the sidewall, it straightened out and ran along the sidewall. There he is. He's backing up. He wraps the ball, and it just straightens out. David thinks it's going to go to the sidewall. In fact, it doesn't. He just can't react in time. Textbook. Beautiful shot. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. And yet, Fred, did, did, did you notice that, that John still didn't really get in real good position, but he's so strong that he's able to get away with it anyway. That's Score it. is 19, serves 13. David Chapman is serving. Short ball just missed that, that, that short line by an inch Second two. serve for David. That three ball good return by John. Yeah, I think John's adjusted to that. David just adjusts beautifully. What reflexes. Look at that. He's in trouble now. Yeah, he's got it. A little bit too hard. Another he, setup. He gets to watch it again. Does. John's getting frustrated. I know. Yeah, I know. But, well, I sure wouldn't want to be down there and let John be teeing off the ball. Oh, like that. great shot. Great shot. Oh, yeah. He stayed with it. He stayed with it. He kept control. He didn't get impatient. And that's Come exactly what you were saying they had to do at the beginning of this match, Fred. Here's John. Oh, I see, we've got a lot of this point. Now John hits the ball up to the ceiling. David takes the ball off the back wall. 
backing up. Yeah, backing up and hitting that left side wall. 13, you know, serve, get 19. The serve. They want to get back in this game. Well, see he, what he does. He certainly can do it. He's going at Dave. Because he wasn't getting, he wasn't getting the kind of return that he wanted on the left, on the right side. No, that's a replay. Yeah, John, John positioned himself very well there. You know, he knew what, what David's tendencies were, wanting to hit right side wall, front wall. He moved Replay, into the way, which is a legal hinder. 19. Caused the ball to be played over again. Let's see who he goes at. Back to Nadi. No. Ooh, nice. Point. Skipped the ball in again. He's got to be. He's got to serve the right side. Un 19. Until Nadi Alvarado Jr. proves that he'll play defense on that return to serve. He needs to keep serving there. The replay. Um, John wasn't so big. I think that ball would crotch on the right side wall. Well, I think that's what Toddy's going for because that's his best serve. I've seen him crack out four or five serves in a row. And I think 19. get hot, they're right back in this game. Oh, beautiful. It took a it pushed it to the right hand corner. Yeah, and, and, David threw a, and David threw a nice natural hook at him also. And Toddy had to really adjust because he got jammed. Tough serve down the right side. Hit that natural hook. The ball broke Beautiful. into him. Now he backs away. Takes David out of the play at the same time. And Great. still makes that kill on the right serves side. 19. Great reflexes. Absolutely. Great shot. Okay, here's another setup. Oh, you know, he actually missed Point. that shot. Absolutely. He did not hit it well. Got away and, with it. And, and, and if, and if Nadi had believed that 16, he wasn't going to hit it well, he would have picked 19. that ball. I think he changed his mind. He, I think he was going to hit a passing shot. He's got so much talent. He's got so much ability. He's got so many choices every time he hits the ball. I think sometimes he gets confused. He has too many choices. Well, by the way, we're saying... Oh, what a get by bye We're saying this about the guy who's the current national singles champion. So, exactly. Uh, Hinder! Yeah, Hinder ball. Right Great the get there by bike. I'd like to see that again. Junior... You're All standing right. in it. All right, we're going to get that get. Let's take a look at this. This was okay. absolutely David phenomenal. Pushed look the ball at this. Out. John, oh, all way the way from the position. right side. All the way from the right side. And, and that one also, because he's being completely jammed, because he's up right. too far on the court. He right through, through his, his legs. legs. Right through his legs. 16. Not he's not he just too close. Has to be played again. See the serve. George, you know, trying to serve down the center of the court instead well, of going through the crack. Second serve, 16 19. Boom. A little bit too hard. Oh. Looking for a hit in there. I thought he had a legitimate shot at I thought he had a legitimate shot also. I think, I think if he'd have made up his mind to go for the ball to begin with, he'd have gotten it. Nope. I agree with David. Absolutely would have had that. 17 serves 19. We have a disagreement, Fred. And a narrowing of the score, too. Well, anybody thinks this is going to be a blowout, we've got another thing coming. These guys have got too much pride. Do you see him little, lean on that ball? A little bit too much on that. A little bit too much. What, what do you mean by that, Fred? A little bit too much. 19. Well, I think normally David would have had that, but it was hit so hard and it had too much spin on it. Yep, I agree with you. See, and now, now, now Nottie Jr. is hitting the ball on the ground again. We're you at know, a critical point right here because it's 18-19, and 19, they cannot afford to make mistakes. 19. Nope. You know, and I, and I think the team that would benefit the most by going three games would be the team receiving serve right now. 19, so, 19. Why is that, Steffi? Because as the game goes on, players get more and more tired. And, and the shooter, okay, the shooters, the guy who has to hit the kill shot, don't do it as well in the end of the match when they get tired. Chapman Alvarado. Okay, well, it's time. Yeah, they, they, they get it. We're only playing with one timeout a game, and uh, what they're entitled to is one. One minute timeout per team, per game, and that's it. First man up. And they got two serves at 20, 19. You're supposed 19. to win from this point. This is a critical serve right now. Let's take a look. David got him playing defense again. So he Semi set up. He accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. He's getting the shots he wanted right now. Great defensive turn. shot. Right corner's open. Goes for the pass. Great 
break yet. Oh, oh, ball. Wow. Ball. What a ball. Great volley. volley. Great series of shots. Take it uh, one more time. That's a replay. Great game. Look at that. Oh, oh that is talent. Look at that, that talent. Sidewalk. And look at this. There he is again. I think uh, Toddy made the mistake of hitting the front wall first. Should hit side, side front. Absolutely. It would have been a point. But the ball's moving just so quick. It's really tough to do. 20 that. series, 19. We now have the privilege point. of standing up here. Nope. Is it game point no, or 19, 19? Second serve. Oh, the ball cracked. Oh, no. So Vera was a little late getting there. Twenty serves nineteen. Oh, oh he gambled and made the shot. Oh my god. Yeah. Twenty nineteen right game, thirty eight. Game feet. point pulls one out of his pants. Amazing. Nineteen serves twenty. Twenty nineteen. Great serve. Yes. Oh. Great pass shot. Great pass shot. Smart shot. Absolutely. Brilliant shot. He, and and that, that's what he does. If he hits kill shots and then hits pass shots, then all well, he sucked them in. You see how he sucked them in. Watch this. There he is. John moves forward. David hits the ball by him. John you was know, looking for the kill. Exactly. And and, and David, David. And David, David saw him move. David chooses his shots and, and varies them 20, so much that there's 30, always indecisiveness 20. on the part of the, the team that he's playing. It's 20 all. Back wall set up. David's there. Drive. Oh, oh yeah. if he had gone up with it, he would have gotten One down. I think he was blocked a little bit, yeah. but, it, but he still should get that ball back. Hey, if you live by the kill shot, you're going to die by it. What do you think about that? Uh, that that's um, <laughs> very deep, Fred. Game point, 2020. All you need is one. Back wall set up. Good call. Ooh. Good call. It's a good, good call. call. Yep. Good call. He yep. was screened. Got to keep these guys from getting hurt. You know, because there's four big bodies in a, in a 20 by 40 area. 20, 20. David's taking his time on the serve. Let him stew a bit. Hits oh. a crush. Oh. Hits Had a, a little reverse on that. Reverse. Hits that side wall just flattens out. The, the kind of thing you love to see at 20. And what a so, game. Yeah, That's spectacular. That was a great game, 21-20, as close as you can get. We'll be back to the World Pro Handball Doubles Championships in just a moment. Alvarado Chapman, winners of the first game. Welcome back to the Royal Athletic Club in Burlingame for the World Pro Handball Doubles Championship. I'm Ben Thumb along with Fred Lewis and Stuffy Singer, and that was quite a first game, gentlemen, between the top two doubles teams in the world. Let's take a look at the stats of that game. Well, I think you see uh, service aces one each, uh, but it doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, Bike and Silvera um, had many more weak returns off of uh, their serves, uh, a lot of uh, unforced errors, so on and so forth. What do you think about that stuff? Well, I, I, obviously, Fred, I agree with your analysis. Uh, it appears here that both teams had about the same number of unforced errors, but the reality is, is those are only volley ending okay, errors. We're about to start and the there, there's game another here. level of error where uh, they get the ball back, but they get, it, they get it back, and it's too weak, and the other team can Play take ball. advantage of it. So I, zero, I think they need to change zero. that in this next game. Okay, back to court side now. First serve. Tough shot. David hit a great ceiling shot. Replay. He also made a tough get on that last shot. It looked like uh, the ball went back in the corner. Replay, 0-0. Zero, zero. What Toddy's got to do on his serve, though. He's got to keep that serve off the back wall. Short. Got to yeah. keep it off the back wall. Toddy's got to bend the serve. serve. Notice how he's standing up. He's got to lean into it a little bit more. Serve is so important. And that, that's very similar to what John did. There's a setup. David tried that pass shot. Didn't hit it quite where he wanted to. See, I think this is a mistake when John's on the right side. They've got those weak hands in the... Uh, I'm sorry, they've got the strong hands in the center and... and and John's weak hand on the right, and Toddy's weak hand on the left. Like oh, that. That was a great reaction, absolutely. And, and like that. Great driving pass Fire shot out. by uh, Mr. Chapman. 
Yeah, I mean, I know that the Toddy wants to get in the game, and that's why he's got to be on the left side. But if he's playing with a left-handed handball player, they're just going to have to stick with their sides. Well, I agree with you. I mean, the key here is they've got to keep the pressure on, and they constantly have to pound the ball with their strong hands. Yeah, and, and pounding the ball doesn't mean they have to end the volley. They just they have to do well, they, like just like that. Now they're going to get to do it again. And again. And again, exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah. Except uh, he hit the ball a little bit too shallow. Hit the ball too shallow, didn't keep pounding the ball, got a little bit impatient, gave up that opportunity. David took advantage of it. What an intelligent shot that was by David. See, now they're, they're pounding at him, all right? David can't beat him from down there, but then Toddy got impatient. David took the opportunity, ended the volley because Toddy wasn't in good position to There's hit that, that kind shot of shot. Again. Isn't that gorgeous? One, serve zero. Good There's return, a good sir. return to serve, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. perfect shot. See, that's what they got to do. They've got to take that serve, and they've got to take away that horrendous advantage. Advantage isn't as big in this game as it is in men's tennis, but it's real big. Punch the ball to the ceiling, make the ball die in the left rear corner. Even somebody as steady with his great you know, technology and reflexes of David Chapman couldn't get that ball back. One, zero. You know, one of the things that they used to talk about was that the, the toughest thing in sport was, was hitting a baseball uh, thrown by a major league pitcher. Right. All right. And I would suggest to you that at least the baseball player knows exactly the general area where the ball is coming. These guys have to hit a ball traveling 90 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour, do it on the run, and hit a ball that's probably about half the size of a baseball traveling at the same speed and changing directions on it. Yeah, John got a little bit too cute on that shot. John cannot take anything off the ball. He's got to keep pounding it back at Naughty. 2-0, Alvarado Chuck. Oh. Lead. Over the line. And David. See, yeah, you're right. But, uh, D David stepped over the front that line, and, and that that's, a that, that, that's like a football. Exactly. There's that three well served. He got the weak return again. Hold it. Boy, Naughty did a great job of driving that ball at John's feet. If, That's if, what he's got to do. If he does that and keeps the ball, you know, Replay. in play and keeps Two driving their team back, you know, David can push them around enough where uh, they're, they're not going to be able to beat him. But Toddy got lazy again. Exactly. Didn't move his feet. Look, look at that disgusted look on his face. Yeah, he, he knows, knows it. He knows it. David's serving in the middle of the court now, and he's throwing little Oops. hooks at him. David got a Side little impatient there and tried to force uh. one in. Well, he didn't get back on the ball as, as like Man. he normally does. He tried Zero, to drag three, the ball forward. Three. You know, Stuffy, I remember a study done on a pro football game that showed that the ball was only in play 14 minutes during a three or three-and-a-half-hour game. How does handball compare to that? Well, I, I think we talked about that earlier, though, Ben, but, but, in, but in, in handball, they've done similar studies, and the ball out of three-and-a-half hours, the ball is actually in play about two-and-a-half hours. And uh, now, they're, you know, they don't have some 300-pound linebacker serve. jumping on your shoulders and pounding you in the ground. So, but as far as just pure physical exertion, not caused by physical contact, uh, I mean, th this, this, this game has been at the top of the, of the energy level and aerobic level of the, uh, the President's Phys Physical Fitness Council ever since they had that. And there's never been Hold anything that, e that even comes close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, these, these, these truly are. These are the supermen of sports. Oh, oh, what a choice. Yeah. What a choice. God. Hit that ball shoulder high from 37 feet back. And tried to end the volley with it. Okay. Right, we're going to get a chance here to, to look at the, some of the footwork on these guys because they're almost like ballet dancers. Well, John's a big ballet dancer. <laughs> Look at the size of those calves. Yeah, kind of like mine and stuff. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like yours, Fred. Three. three wall return, but John's going to drive steps it. Into it. See, and, and, and what John's got to figure out is even if they make those great returns, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He can stand there and keep doing that forever. Oh, Toddy, again, yeah. instead of moving Side his out. feet and getting in position, he tried to force the ball in. Part of the difficulty in having that great level of talent that he's got is, you know, he can he can do things that other people just can't do, but he's still not doing them as well as he could do them. Watch if he this. take that little extra oh. effort. See right? his feet? He's yeah. facing front instead of turning side. Facing front instead of facing Coming the sidewall, in. backing away and still Three trying to go on offense. When he's in bad position like that, he's got to play defense. 
The serve comes off the back wall and let John tee off on it. That's a, not a good idea. God, look at David. John's hitting the ball 90 miles an hour and he just sticks his hand out and pushes it back to the front wall. You know, what's interesting is John might try changing some pace on that, not hitting every ball absolutely as hard as he can, making, making David stutter a little bit. Look at David yeah, yeah. poaching up in the front court. Yeah, absolutely. Reach Knew exactly out. where the ball was going. Absolutely. Great anticipation. <laughs> See, watch what happens here. John runs behind Toddy to hit the ball, and now and they're has, both out of position. And he had his weak, and David knew it. He knew it, and so he poached, anticipated, and got away with it. Yeah, and, 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 and knew he didn't have to hit a great shot because his opponents were out of position. Very bright kid. Five. Serve zero. Point. John thought the ball skidded, and I think it might have. I think it did. Six, serve zero. Sometimes if the ball gets wet, or if the wall or the floor gets wet, uh, this, this ball actually seems to accelerate, and the referee has it within his, his authority to be able to call a hinder ball and play it again. They treat it like a court hinder. David's giving Here's something up right here. Hit it hard, John. David is there. Oh, left it off. Tony's just not getting his arm into it or something. Great gets, great gets. So he's got to do more of that. Tough shot. Ooh, good return. Oh, John got a little sloppy. bit too sloppy there. Right. Boy. Took it for granted. Okay. I think we get a chance to look at John right here. All right now, he's hitting the ball with his right hand, drives the ball down the right sidewall. All right, now he's hit front wall, side wall shot, takes the ball to the rear of the court, so Chapman hits it with his left hand. David over hits the ball, gives a big back wall setup, and John just crunches the ball. But you see how Nani Seven, stepped back and zero. was able to give himself enough room to make the shot? Well, you know, John can hit the ball uh, at 90 miles an hour, an inch high, that ball might carry for 150 feet. <laughs> Toddy's no fool. Great pass shot. Great reaction David by David. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Overswung. Big back wall setup. Great kid. Yeah. But well, John sure can move along. Oh, oh great right shot. Fantastic. Great, great, great hands. Great hands. Both those guys are so quick up there. Both David and I. I'm not sure where we're at right here. All right, but now this volley is going real quick, and, and oh, not, not he just, just sticks shot. his hands out, gets a little bit of top spin on the ball, hits that front wall, ball just rolls out. Great Eight point, great reaction. Zero. Would you call that manual dexterity? Or uh, what? I think I'd call that manual dexterity. That's the kind of thing that Toddy's got to do. Oh, and, and because yeah. Yeah, yeah, but because Toddy did that, because he did it, all of a sudden he drove David back, just that extra half a step. Yeah, it doesn't appear that there's any volley that's over. All right, John's pounding the ball now. David's diving forward trying to get a hold of that. Almost gets it. One thing he doesn't want to do is run into that side. Sir, no, lot, zero. Lots of dislocated shoulders. Lots of broken fingers. Strike. Lots of national championships that have been lost on, on one of those Second walls. Sir. We need to see more deep driving by uh, by Bike and Silvera. He's gone back to that three wall circle. He left it hanging this time. Oh, how he jumped on that Boy. shot. And that's what he's got to do. He got the good opportunity, and now it's time to end the ball. Not to force it. There's John. John got a little bit in front of the ball. David got the ball back. John hits what looks like a reasonably good shot, and, and Nottie Jr. just jumped on the ball and hit a flat kill shot. No way to get that ball back. They gotta drive the ball deep. Nine, sir, they gotta get zero. it back. Nine, sir, zero. Short. Alvarado and Chapman really going out second on serve. a tear on this second game. And I, I think that uh, 
and Bike and Silvera are just a little bit discouraged having made that great comeback last game only to see it go for none. Well, David almost David got that too. Right well, he had his hand on it on one bounce. They seem to have been able to nullify the power of uh, both Toddy and John. Well, it's not that they're not nullifying it. It's just that the front team here is getting a little bit too impatient. That, 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 that's the exact description. They're getting impatient. They can stand there and hit the ball longer, okay, than these other guys can keep making the recovery. And they're, they're not hitting it that extra one or two or three times that it takes to do it. And yet at the Nationals, which was played uh, just a month or so ago, it was uh, interesting to see the power of Mike oh. and Silvera. See what David did there? He went over the top of the ball with his fist. The ball reversed, straightened out, ran down the wall. Zero yeah. serves nine. John's got to get pumped. I think John's getting, you know, Toddy's getting a little frustrated. He's getting a little frustrated. And, and, and Toddy's not contributing like he normally does, but that could turn around, in, you know, in a second. That, a that, bit off. Yeah, that's frustration. You know? Yep, because, the, because that, that's not the shot Coming to play. In. All right, Nine at this level of play, zero. you don't take a ceiling shot out of the, you know, off the floor like that. And he's not playing well. John hit a nice pass shot. Boy, David was just waiting for that. He knew exactly Boy. what Toddy was going to do. Yeah, and, and it was caused by Toddy's lack of aggressiveness. It's like the only time Toddy's really getting aggressive is if it's a volley-ending opportunity. And and what he could have done is he could have just pushed David back. Look at look at John. He's the really intensity angry. there. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> One down. Yeah, see, now that's what that's what Naughty can't afford to do. No, because, because if they let these guys back in. Well, he's taking away the momentum. That's right. They got the momentum right now. Let's they can't afford this. to give it up. See, now Naughty took that ball from rear court. We couldn't see Naughty, but he took the ball from rear court. Both guys were in front of him. He has to get an absolute perfect shot. He knows it, tries to make the shot too perfect, hits the ball Ten on the ground. Play zero. What a great guess. What a, what a, a guess. That was athletic ability at its best. That was brilliant. Just brilliant. I, mean, I thought the ball was down, and then all of a sudden David was there. Watch this reaction. Watch this. And his unwillingness oh. to quit. He gets the ball back. Anticipation. Well, and, and, and great drive out of his legs. And, and, I mean, just a marvelous, marvelous shot. You know, not, not, not to make any excuses for Toddy, but, you know, having just won the, the national singles and, and doubles a couple of months ago, there's a bit of a letdown right oh. after that. And it, it's, it's difficult to maintain your hunger level Second for him serve. and the other guys who didn't win. David lost in the finals very close to uh, Toddy. The guys who didn't win all of a sudden now have a little bit more enthusiasm, you know, and a little bit more motivation. So it's difficult to repeat. Well, let's tell the folks what happened here. We just uh, had a broken ball. I'm surprised we haven't had 10 broken balls the way these guys are pounding the ball. But well, when the ball breaks, you obviously can't play with it. You've got to throw a new ball in. Well, I think it's, it's due to the great quality of the handballs that Spaulding is putting out right now. Would you say that? I, I don't have to, Fred. <laughs> no good? How do you break a ball? Um, well, sometimes it can be from, from an imperfection, but that's not what's happened right here. The, these balls are made in two halves, and there's a seam down the center of them, and I think in some form they must heat them to the point where the seam ceases to exist. And usually the ball doesn't break at the seam. It breaks someplace else. They just hit the ball too hard. Might be an imperfection in the court that causes a little bit of break, and they hit it with such great velocity and power that it, you know, it, it's not atypical to have the ball break. Out. That was a great jive by, by John. Yeah. Again, we need, to, need, we need to see more of that. that. The front wall. Yeah, I agree. I'm calling the side out. Got a little bit of no. argument here. I think that uh, Nadi Jr. thinks that he was uh, bothered. He was screened on it a and, little and, bit. And, and, I really, and I really... I, yeah, I he's got an argument there. He's got an argument, but I don't think it's a bad call. 
I was playing, I would have thought it was okay, a bad Coming call. in, zero serves 11. Oh, oh what a great oh. shot. Come down. That was a bullet. A great shot, back wall kill by Nadi Alvarado Jr., but caused by the fact that Tati Silvera hit that great serve, but hit it too hard and too deep and gave him a back wall setup. Here's that serve. Now watch it come off the Here back wall. Here comes a cruise missile. Look at oh, that. Look at man. that. Man, Nadi sure laced that one. Gorgeous shot. Just nothing you can do except Zero make sure that 11. serve doesn't go to the back wall. John's got to go up. John Hold it. What? That was a slider. That wasn't a slider, but it hit the wall. It did hit the wall. Good. That's a replay. The referee called that a court. Hinder felt that uh, the side wall was wet and caused the ball to slide. Yeah, what do you think about Fred? What do you think, Fred? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so the referee made a mistake. Zero serves 11. I, on the other hand, never argue with Reverend. No, it's a short. These guys are maintaining their Second composure serve. real well because, you know, this is far and away the biggest post they've ever played for. I call two bounces. That's a point. Well, they're on the scoreboard. That's the first point. One serves 11. One serves 11. John Bike, former national champion, serving. David, setting up. Oh, oh skipped it in. That, that was very unlike David, you know, taking a shot from that deep that was that difficult and trying Two to end the volley with 11. it. That's not usually what he does. Well, it's true. He thought he could get away with it because both players were back. Same shot. Great pass shot. Wow. Point. Too much on that. Absolutely. All right. They're picking up the momentum now. It's three points in a row. Let's and see if John can get him back in here. And, that, and that's three why Chapman and Silvera can't afford to give him cheap points. Because they can't let these guys get on a roll. Because they can score points in huge bunches. And again, restating, Fred, what you said earlier, you can only score when you're serving. Coming in. Well, David got a little lucky on that shot. He yep. kind of leaned into it, didn't hit it real good. Hit it off his finger. We're watching Chapman now. Notice how he's getting in position, watching the ball at all times. All right, taking the ball off the back wall, kind of thumbed it. All right? Didn't really hit it real square, but still was able to maintain his concentration Eleven, and get the ball in anyway. Three. And he has such a variety of shots that, that his opponents are very indecisive. The key term there, Stuffy, maintain his concentration. 12 serves three. Nadi contributing an ace. That's nice when it happens, but they don't, they don't need him to do that. They need him to drive like he just did and now allow David to take control of the point. See, and it was all caused by Nadi's choice of shot by driving him back and, and allowing David to get back in the point and take control of it. There's David driving the ball. But see, Toddy, again, taking a very bad shot here. Left himself open. In order for them to get back in this match, Toddy has got to do more. He's got to start driving the ball. He's got to quit making these unforced errors and these mistakes. Yeah. We got a timeout right now or a, uh, or a, or a towel to, wet, uh, to dry the floor? It looked like a floor wipe. Looks like, yeah, a wet floor. The floor gets awfully wet with four guys out there playing the kind of handball that we're seeing tonight. It, it gets more than wet, Ben. It, it really is amazing. Boy, what a serve. What a retrieve. See how John looks that ball right into his hands? One down. And you amazing know, hand-eye coordination. And the interesting part there is, is that Nadi had an opportunity to end the volley, 13, but I don't think he should have hit the right side wall first. I think he should have hit that kill first just in case he, he, he didn't make it. He didn't have to be perfect. Where the place that he went for it, he had to be perfect. And John hit that a little too high. David's going to get to it. He keeps that ball coming back. 
Boy, he knew exactly oh. where they were. He just pushed John up against the right side wall, hit right side wall for a wall, and nobody home. All right, David, again, taking advantage of court positioning here. He's got John, pushes him out of the way. Nobody covering the right, the left side. But again, caused by John's bad choice with his left hand, that, that kind of a dragging motion trying to end the volley. And he doesn't want to play with David Chapman in the front of the court. He wants to be able to stand up and lean on the ball. You start getting involved in quickness, and John is not the quickest person in this court. David starting to take over here and, and feeling the adrenaline going, the confidence is building. I mean, that was a very tough shot that he tried to take and, and he made it. Well, I, I'll tell you something. I think, I think David likes television. I think David likes the sport because uh, a year ago, never having beaten John Bike before, uh, they, they, they played a, uh, uh, a, a championship singles match here. And for the first time, David beat him. And I think he started to get the idea that, you know, I can beat this big guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, John's, John's since beaten him, but it's no longer just Bad a one-sided thing. Kind of matured right here a year ago. 15 serves three. Also, the revenge factor is big, you know. These guys are, were the two-time uh, defending champions. Point. They got knocked off by Bike Silvera. Uh, Chapman lost his singles title, three. so he wants to win this one pretty bad. I agree. I'm going to go out on a limb right now. I, I'm going to predict. That I'm going to predict. I'm going to predict that, by, that, 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 that Chapman and uh, Alvarado win this match. What a get by Chapman! Incredible reflexes. Oh, he hit that behind his back. He was out of position. Great shot. That's a great point. That was good. John took that ball and got it up in the air and got out of trouble. Reverse. David's throwing the hooks at him. Toddy just seems, you know, a, a, a step out of sorts. He just doesn't seem like himself. What a oh, get. Again. Oh, could Hit not him get out of the way. way. Couldn't get out of the way. What a great, great point. try. Oh, great let's try. See, let's see that baby back again. I'm hoping we can pick this up a lot. All right, Chapman is hitting left side wall front oh, wall. Bike dives, gets the ball back. It's trying to get out of the way, but can't quite do it. The ball hits him. Unfortunately, you don't get to hit the ball twice, no matter what part of your body it is. Pretty agile for a 215-pound yeah, kid. That, that, that's too bad, because I'd have liked him to see him jump up off the floor and try and do something. It's second man up. 17 serves Four three. points to victory. Oh, God. What a get. Hit it harder, John. Look harder. At this. Look, look at David. Look at David. That My goodness. just incredible. Just incredible. But, but you know what it's like? I mean, as quick as he is and as wonderful a job as Point. he's doing right now, he's still got the support of Naughty Jr. And John, three. John needs to take something off once in a while and, and let David have to make an adjustment. Right now, all that's happening is David, all David has to do is react. Oh, what a great shot. You know what David reminds me of? He reminds me of a National Hockey League goalie, the way he keeps rejecting these shots. Three, sir, yeah, Good analogy. Because that's how fast that ball is coming in. That's two in a row, so there is hit. Now I'm telling you, he can run 10, 15 in a row Four just in a blink 18. of an eye. David's very tough to do that against, however, because, you know, he There's makes you work so hard for oh. opportunities. Oh, oh, play. That hurt. That, that hurt, but John did exactly what he had to do. He had to take away that angle and keep that setup from, from happening. Was that Four late? Is 18. <laughs> Is that yes or no? My dear friend Pete Tyson and I could talk about that, for a while, <laughs> but I think it's legal. Five Referee evidently 18. thought it was legal. I think the, what the rule is, Fred, is I think you got to give him a free swing and a straight line to the front wall, but you can take away angles. That's what John did. Well, all of a sudden, Toddy's just started to lean on the ball. Probably decided he don't want to lean in the ball. Replay. Yeah. 
Yeah. The adrenaline is going now. Yeah, all of a sudden. He, he's angry. Five serves 18. It hasn't been his best match. No. I think he feels embarrassed at this point. Yeah. Oops. There's the lefty-righty combination. Lefty-righty and the serve coming around the, around the side wall off the back wall. Can't afford to do this at this level. Five serves 18. John's got to get hot. What a serve, what a return. Well, I'll tell you, you know, that, that ball looked like it hit a wet spot. Oh. I mean, he hit that ball so hard. Here's another look at this now. Let's watch John spread out and hit this ball. That's what he needs to do more of. He right? needs to spread out more. needs to use those big legs, not just that arm. Here it comes. Coming around. He backs up, comes up, back wall, side wall, and he just fires. Left side wall, front wall. Pick the right spot to hit it to. Six serves 18. Because Naughty Long Jr. was go. sitting in the right place. <laughs> Tough shot. Didn't hit it hard enough. He's got to hit up. Oh, avoidable hinder. Yeah, I think you're right, Fred. Bad no, choice. Bad choice. You got it. It doesn't make it right, though. Hit it hard. He does. And now you got the, the left hander on the right side, and that's a tough way for these guys to have to play. Hold it. Play it again. That was nice a good play. Ball. That was yeah, a good, good call. call. Good call, by the way. I think he missed that avoidable hinder previously. Can we take a look at that one more time? I'm not sure they got it back that far, but uh, it would be interesting to watch. Six serves 18. I think we hold might it, have it. a look. Right. Here's Naughty Jr. taking the ball with his left hand off the back. John pushing the ball to his right. No, we didn't get it, unfortunately. We just Six got near, near the 18. end of that. Haven't given up, and if they no, keep they pressure, and if they keep That's pressure right. on Alvarado, this thing can this thing can turn around. Seven. Not, not he's got to make certain that he plays all the way through to 21, and doesn't think that this match is over just because it's at 17. Second serve. Great serve. Great serve. Great serve. Deep crotch. And, and there's almost no way for David to get in there because you know where, where does Naughty go? Exactly. Great return. You know, I watch John hit serves like that, and I, 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 I say to myself, boy, am I glad I'm up here. All right, here's the setup. Oh, no, no, the ball ran Look. the wall. John Sarah rips it. Great leave by David. Great leave by David. Beautiful shot. Yes. Beautiful shot. Knowing which shots to leave is just as important as, as making the shot. Absolutely. As far as and doubles and David concerned. knew he was in trouble, and he knew his partner was there, so he just cleared out. David goes back wall, front wall with his, with his right hand. Toddy drives the ball at David's left hand. Now he's stuck in the front of the court, so he clears out, lets Naughty Jr. play that shot, and because of it, is able to get back into the volley. Now they lose the volley, but it, it, they, they, lost, they didn't lose the volley because of bad choice. They no. lost the volley because What's of the good fact that their opponents eight, hit good shots. What's good about that, Serves though, is 18. that uh, David had enough confidence in Nadi to let that shot go. And that's what he wasn't doing at the national tournament this right. year. I think he took over too much and didn't let Nadi get into the game enough. 9-18. You know, Nadi, for the most part, Nadi has really played a nice match here today. He can't win it from the right side. Oh! oh. I, I know that that was the first sign right to me that, that John was getting a little tired. Yeah, yeah, I think you may be right. They were making a good comeback up to that point. Yeah, it's not over. I think he's frustrated more than tired. Yeah, but he reacted real slow on this. Yeah, he, he's a little disappointed. I think he thinks he should have gotten hey, that ball also. Coming in, 18 serves nine. Get him out of here right now. They can get back in this game. That's right. Three points is a lot to score. Oops. All right. Good call. Good call, ref. Yeah, but but the the thing that if that if, that if I was David, that I wouldn't have liked about that is Play. I saw all of a sudden Naughty step in and take what probably should have been David's shot and try to go on offense. 
you know, and he's certainly capable of. Oh. Oh. Splat! Not even wow. that ball hanging. And John said, "Here you go, next serve." This wasn't a bad serve, and John just jumped all over it. Mm. Look at that shot, boy, oh boy! Big, strong guy. Got to make him move. Eighteen <laughs> serves nine. That's that Bradley screwball turned. we were talking about. Great pass. Yeah. Right, he's going to do it again. Down the center. Yeah. To the side. Oh, yeah. 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 Side out. Yeah, the referee missed a call there. Didn't let David, didn't let David finish his through. swing. Comes back in. Through. Nine serves, 18. All right, they're back in, and they got in with no more damage. That's the first one that, that, that Toddy really leaned on on his serve, you know, Fred? What a return serve by David. Oops. They're, Hold it! They're getting awful close in there. Yeah. I think I uh, think the ref's doing a good job, yeah. but but the, you know, things are starting to get tight. And uh, they were really 18. close. Short. Short. You know, I don't know if that's I'm getting older, Fred, but these guys seem to be hitting the ball hard right now. Watch this. Down Great the line. shot. Oh, wow. Point. Great pass. Great shot. Great choice of shots. He's got such talent. Reminded me of Dennis Man, Hoplander on that 18. shot, the way he set up. Yeah, hair's a little short. Short! <laughs> yeah. Second serve. And he didn't snarl after he hit it. Oh, he yeah. got a point on that one. He got away with a shot. He got away with it. That, 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 that's what's so frustrating about playing in Toddy Silvera. He, 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 he can all of a sudden take a shot that you would pay him to hit and make it. He's backing up, everybody's in front of him, and he's hitting the left side wall, front wall, and the ball never reaches the right side no. wall, otherwise Toddy, Toddy was all over it. He just happened to hit a perfect thing. That's right. <laughs> sure wouldn't want to have to rely on that. 11 serves 18. See, now close. They're back yep. in this match, almost. Changes the serve. But again, the serve came off the came back off wall. The back. One down. He's got to stop that. They can't afford too many more of those. 11 serves, 18. No, because it, it, they're, they're not going to go you know, many more innings without scoring. David threw that little reverse at him. All right, here's the setup. Oh, yes, and he converts. But, he, but you know, even at that one, even at that one, he pulled that ball from behind it. He didn't really get back on it like he normally does. But again, he has such well, great sir, dexterity. That he can hit the shot anyway. Well, he's starting to level off better. Now. He's not taking the ball quite so close to his body. You know, and John's starting to feel better about him too. Nope. 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 John cannot do that. He cannot hit the ball with his right hand easy in the front court. Because he can't play with them in the front court. They're too quick for him. He's got to drive the ball. That's right, absolutely. 18 serves 12. They got to hold him here. They got to at least hold him to one or two points at most. Oh boy, I shot by him. Okay, at least he got one. it out. Yep. Boy, they keep giving him shot after shot, though. I know they're under a lot of pressure. That's the one. That's it. Can't give him too many. Well, that, was, that, that was good for Nadi because he didn't press. He waited until he got the fat setup That's right. before he shot it. Nadi Alvarado. You got to hold him here. Yeah, can't afford to hold him the point. Great oh, reverse. But, but Nadi wound up to hit the ball instead exactly. of playing it safe. Exactly. He just said, I'm going to go on offense, and you just do that often enough. Got to learn how to play defense. Boy, that, it's really interesting sitting here talking about a guy who's now won two national single championships. Ah, John hit a good shot. Yeah, that was smart. Look at that again. That's Look the at game. that. Wow. That's the game. Yay. So Vera Alvarado win two straight, but really, really a very entertaining match. Here, ladies and gentlemen, you have a sensational doubles match with Chapman and Alvarado. We'll be back to interview the winners right after this.
And we're back here at the Royal Athletic Club where David Chapman and Nutty Alvarado have just won the World Pro Handball Doubles Championship in two games straight. Let's go courtside now for an interview with the champions. Here's Stuffy Singer. David, Nadi, congratulations. You guys played a fantastic match. And this is a, a revenge thing for you, I think, because these guys beat you for the national championship about two months ago. Uh, Nadi, what do you think was different this time than the, than the last time you played these guys? Um, I think the uh, ability to get involved in the game more made me more comfortable with the velocity and the uh, different shots that Tati and uh, John hit to me, directly at me with maybe 95 mile an hour speed on the ball. Yeah. And it, to get in the game, and get comfortable is a huge thing on the right side. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I think you did a, a fantastic job. David, what did you guys really do differently this time? Why all of a sudden such a big turnaround? Well, my coach at uh, SMSU, Tommy Burnett, really encouraged me to hit a weight program, which I hadn't done before, and that really contributed to my uh, more power. I had more power on the ball, and I was able to deal with their power more, and I felt like I was in a lot better shape really? by hitting the weights and running. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, this, this was really a, a spectacular match to watch. Congratulations again, and we'll be back with you with some final thoughts in a minute. Welcome back to the Royal Athletic Club in Burlingame, California, where we've just seen one of the most remarkable pro handball matches in recent memory. Our congratulations to David Chapman and Nadi Alvarado for managing to defeat two of the hardest hitters who have ever played the game, John Bike and Tati Silvera. David Chapman did what he does so well, he controlled the match, especially in the deciding game, and got the help he needed from Nadi Alvarado. Teamwork and determination were the key factors in this exciting matchup of the world's top two pro handball doubles teams. On behalf of my colleagues, Hall of Famers Fred Lewis and Stuffy Singer, this is Ben Thumb. Thanks for joining us. So long for now.